Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm County Executive PJ Wendell. We're here at the Jamestown Airport, Robert East Jackson Field. Um, this morning, we did have a plane uh, that made an emergency landing and crashed uh, off just off the runway. Um, at this time, we're going to turn everything over to Shannon Barnhart, who is our airport manager. Hi, Shannon Barnhart, Fisher, um, airport manager here at Jamestown. We did, as uh, County Executive has said, had a accident here at the Jamestown Airport this morning around 10, 12 a.m. Um, both the pilot and co-pilot walked away from the accident. Um, the pilot has been flown to ECMC. The co-pilot is at ECMC Chautauqua. Um, the 911 call was made around right around 10, 12 by our guys here at the airport. Our ARF truck was out there um, quickly and was able to respond to the fire. And we're just glad that everyone is, is safe and and in good hands right now. Um, we want to thank all of the local um, law enforcement, fire department, everyone who helped us out today. Um, it was a tenant of ours at Dunkirk, um, and so that, you know, near and dear to our hearts. And we're just glad that they're they're okay. Um, and they were flying from Dunkirk to Jamestown, and then they're headed to Florida after that. So um, that's what. And I'm going to turn it over to Noel Gutman, and then we'll take questions at the end. Our director. Good afternoon, I'm Noel Gutman, Director of Emergency Services. Um, just like to touch on you know, our, our first responder uh, response here today. Uh, upon being alerted in dispatch, uh, we have a pre planned action for the airport, which you know, most fire departments and fire districts have some type of pre plans for, for larger facilities and larger incidents. That plan went into effect when all the departments were dispatched for the various tankers, fire engines, ambulances, uh, specialty teams, ATVs, and they all responded up here. To uh, assist the airport crash truck, the airport crash airport crash truck was on site and was the first fire engine to start fighting the fire out there. Um, obviously, being a, being a plane crash, there was a large large load of jet fuel on there, and that was what the uh, the black smoke was seen for quite some distance in our county for our responders coming here. Uh, our airport crash truck did start fighting the fire with the airport firefighting foam, and we supported that operations with the other fire trucks that got here. Uh, we have a very straightforward operation. Our Everyone that was here initially, myself included, you know, had a collective sigh of relief when we found out that there were people that walked away from this incident. So that, that made the incident easier to deal with, still still stressful in any incident like would be, but life safety is always our, form, our foremost uh, goal in any incident. Um, there were no firefighters injured in the response today. Um, you know, as it was a very a very joint effort like this, it, it garnered a large crew of first responders to get here. And you know there was no no associated issues once everyone got on site and we were able to extinguish like, the fire without any further injuries or damage to other um, airport facilities that weren't already taken 